I must say that it feels extraordinary and uh, almost a little scary to be pre-recording the end of the conference message um, before the conference has actually started. But such are the conditions this year. Uh, I hope at this point that you have had a good experience uh, as being part of virtual ICA 20. As we wind down, rest assured that uh, we will be back to hear about these experiences so that we can learn from them and uh, uh, contemplate what went well and what might need to be improved in a virtual conference setting. In closing, there are a few people that I would like to thank. First of all, I want to thank sincerely Peng Ang, who is rotating off from the executive committee of the ICA. I want to thank him for all the years of service to the ICA as a president-elect, as past pre president, as past president. All in all, it's a five and a half year term on the executive committee of the ICA. And the community is forever indebted to everything that you have done in terms of making ICA a stronger association. Thank you. At the same time, there's also a very warm welcome to Mary Beth Oliver, who is after this conference joining as the president-elect and the one who will be charged with organizing and planning the 2021 conference in Denver. Uh, let me then next thank uh, Terry Flew. Terry Flew uh, is the ICA president up until this conference. Um, uh, Terry did a lot to get the ICA to Australia, and I feel particularly sad that, that this does not materialize. Um, Terry has been an absolute fantastic resource for me in planning the conference, both when it was actually going to be a physical conference in Australia, but also once the hard decision was taken to bring it to a virtual environment. It has been a wonderful partner to have in plotting both first the physical conference and later since the virtual conference. Thank you, Terry, for being such a great ICA president during a very turbulent period. Next, I want to explicitly thank the institutions and the individuals and also the members who have been donating uh, funding to our hardship fund to help uh, students and early stage, uh, uh, early research um, fellows. Your contributions will make the financial loss of some of these individuals a lot easier. But finally, let me give a warm and a loud and a huge thank you to the entire ICA team, to Jennifer, to Chris, to Julie, to Katie, to Tom, and to our fantastic executive director, Laura. We planned the 2020 conference. I was in Washington, D.C., and we said, it's a wrap. We are done. And then we moved online and the whole thing started anew. And through this entire process, the entire ICA team has been fantastic to work with. Working extra hours, being agile, always being up for a new challenge. You made ICA 20 possible and my big thanks go out to you. It is now good tradition at ICA that we finish the conference with a toast. My toast this year goes to the ICA team for everything they did to make ICA 20 possible at all. And to all of you who were there and who were part of the conference, thank you for being part of ICA's conference. Thank you for being part of ICA. And let's see what 2021 will bring us. Cheers to ICA 20.